Hello. All right, today's class is uh, maintain the mount and then attack, front choke and arm bar. There's not a lot of warm-up stuff specific to this, so we can definitely spend some time, same stuff, one arm guard pass. We can spend some time uh, working on front rolls and back rolls, stand up and base, all the fundamental movements. First of all, we're going to practice this movement. This is the one warm-up. Nice and wide. Imagine I'm mounting. Plant my hands here. I'm going to hop up to my feet, back down. Up to my feet, back down. Up to my feet, back down. So they learn to post off the floor to make it happen. Now, keep that in mind. We're mounted on the guy. Okay? First of all, every time I mount, I'm going to try to bring my knees between his elbows and his ribs like this. If he allows me, this is how I want to be. I'm squeezing my legs together, holding him with my feet, ripping a little bit, and I just hold him right here. I have my hands here for base. I never post with my legs, arms locked out because I can get hyperextended with my arm. So there's always a little bit of bend in my joints. I'm here controlling the guy. He has good position this time. He's here. My mounts, I can play with this. A low mount and a high mount. Low mount, look. I come low, boom, feet lock together. All my weight is on him, so nothing touches the floor. I can touch a little bit like that if I need base, but he's bearing all 175 pounds of me. So here I go. I'm on top. There's going to be four things the guy's going to try to do to escape. I like to go sometimes two and sometimes all four at once in the class. So I'll have the class go, all right, the first thing the guy who doesn't know what he's going to do is going to do is he's going to push. The second thing he's going to turn over. The guy that does know what he's doing is going to do knee to elbow and he's going to try to grab my arm. So we'll start out with pushing. As he pushes, I'm <coughs> leaning forward, so I put a little bit of weight on it, and then I swim my arm through. One, two. He keeps pushing. I keep swimming through. Keeps pushing. Keeps swimming through. Now he tries to grab my arm. My arm, watch, I don't set it close to him because he can grab it too easily right there. Right? If I put it on him, same thing. He grabs it, he's got it trapped. So I put it away from him and bend. So as he grabs, I have plenty of time to pull it out. He goes on the other side, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. It should just be nice and smooth, just like that. Now he's pushing, swimming through, he's grabbing, pulling out, just like that. I'm nice and relaxed on top, anticipating his movement. Next thing, the guy that knows what he's doing. Also is going to do is knee the elbow. So I feel him bury the elbow and start to get on his side. I grab either the cloth right here or I scoop under his arm, plant my hand, pull it up, advance my knee. He goes on the other side. I anticipate it. I get under, pull it up, advance my knee. Hold on for a sec. Look, I'm trying to trap under here if I can, like with a monkey grip. That's my strongest grip. So I grab, pull it up, advance my knee. Now I get to a position where it's hard for him to escape. So I'm coming up as I do that, right? If I can't grab that, I grab here, pull it up, boom. Okay, and then last but not least, if he goes to turn over, I let him turn over. So as he turns, I let him. I'm on top. I want to put my feet right by his hips, because this is where there's going to be space as he gets up. Very important. So as he gets up, I plant my hands, put my hooks in, scoot back. Now I have his back. Okay, from here I control his back, I'm ready to put the pain on. He goes back down. So once they get a quick couple seconds to try it, I like to call it out. So I'm at the front of the class calling it out. And I go, okay, everybody on bottom, you're pushing. You're pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Great. Now you're grabbing their arm. You're pulling it out. Grabbing my arm. Grabbing the arm. Grabbing the arm. Okay, good. Now you're in need of elbow. So bury that elbow. Up. I pull it up. Up. I pull it up. Pull it up. And now he turns over. Let him turn. Spatula this up, up. There I get my position. Those are our basic defenses. Now we're going to look at our two offenses. Back here. So here we go. Now, my offenses. Once I've maintained a good position, I've controlled my position. I'm going to work to get a hand in on his lapel. Palm up right here. Boom. Get my grip. Right there, I can put some pressure. My elbow goes down, so it's difficult for him to slide his left hand under my arm. I don't want that to happen. I want to trap right here. Boom. Or his right hand under my arm. That's the way it should have been. There. Okay, I want to bury right there, so I close off that hole. Boom. Nice and heavy. Low. I can put my legs a little wide. From here, I'm going to reach with my left hand, look like this, over to this side. Now, if he follows me with this arm, I'm going to advance my knee, boom, there, so I turn the corner, head, let's turn a little bit, advance my knee, now my right leg comes over like this, 
I lean in so I'm on top of him, push my hips forward, I can grab his arm, put my leg over, now I sit, there's my arm bar. One more time. Here I am. As I reach, he follows me, advance my knee, hold my leg over, lean forward, head to the side to get my other leg over his head, lay back, there's my arm bar. Now, this is how I've been teaching the choke. It's a little bit more advanced. Here we go. I'm right here. As I reach with my left hand, he's gonna, not going to follow it because he's afraid to get arm bar. So I come right here. I plant my hand on the floor. Without smashing his head too much, I'm just going to steer it to the side to open up the neck to get my thumb in. So I go right here. Steer. Take my thumb. Bop. I stick it in right here and I hold. Now I'm going to come up. Bop. I'm on his neck. I put my head down. And I choke. So here I go. He doesn't follow me. Over. Steer. Head on the floor. Slide my thumb in. From here I come up. Boom. There's the choke. There's the finish. So those are my two attacks. The last one that would probably be a good idea to do in the warm-up, which I should have showed in the beginning, we did the warm-up on the ground, is just a real basic arm bar. So when he's pushing me, generally the safe option is to swim through. But if I want, I have an opportunity for an attack. Hands on the chest. Okay? Because he's pushing me, he supports a lot of my weight, so I'm not too heavy on his chest. But be light on your partner's chest. Plant, I come forward, balls of my feet, it helps. I hop up, create some angle, put the leg over, slide down, hold, up, there's my arm bar. Every time I exit, I lay next to him and roll on top. Don't exit any other way. He pushes again, hands in, hop up, leg around, and finish. It should move quick like this, right away he's pushing. One motion like that, even better. As you get better at it, it'll be tighter and tighter on your opponent. So we do the basic arm bars that way. Now, here we go. He's pushing me. I'm swimming through. He's pushing. Nice and relaxed. I'm swimming through. He's pushing. Now he's grabbing my arms. Pulling, 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 pulling. Now he's knee to elbow. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. He turns over. Boom. I take his back. Back down. The other thing you can do to add to this drill. Okay, you say, all right, now, the guy on the bottom is going to do these three things. He's not going to turn over. Then the instructor is going to call out, arm bar. When he says arm bar, guy on bottom does this. Bump. Instead of swimming through, I'm going to arm bar. When he says turn over, the guy turns over, and I let him turn over. So here we go, it's going to look like this. All he's going to do is be pushing, grabbing my arm, and burying your elbow. Keep going. Arm bar. So when I say arm bar, he pushes, and boom. I take the arm. Back to the mount. Now we keep going. Back. I let him turn. There's my spatulas. As he gets up, boom, I take his back. We go back down. We keep going. So that's how the drill works. That's it, plenty of one-arm guard pass. And then you can start. Last week, we did a ta we did defend the mount. So this week, we're doing how to maintain it. What you can have them do is start, you know, taking care of each of their partners. Start having them train a little bit. Not train, but train this position. So attack and defend in the mount. Okay? Start working from there. Awesome job, guys. See you on the mat.